Pleasanton, the battle over a new Costco in the city has once again been put on pause now that the city council has agreed to backtrack on its earlier approval. But because of a lawsuit challenging the project, the council on Tuesday rescinded its previous approval of an environmental impact report, a vital document needed for the Costco project at the 40-acre site on Johnson Drive to move forward. Instead, the council is asking for more environmental review of how the project could affect air quality in the nearby area. Also put on pause were two hotels recently approved by the Planning Commission in June, a Spring Hill Suites and Town Place Suites with a total 231 rooms and a drive through coffee shop in the Johnson Drive area. Last November, the council accepted the environmental impact report for the project at a 40-acre Johnson Drive site at the Stone Ridge Drive interchange of Interstates 680 and 580. The area has been dubbed the Johnson Drive Economic Development Zone. But a month later, development opponents, including former Councilman Matt Sullivan and other members of the Pleasanton Citizens for Responsible Growth filed a lawsuit in Alameda County Superior Court. In the lawsuit, two allegations were made, that there was insufficient environmental review of the air quality effects the business park would have on the Stone Ridge Apartments, which are located across I-680 on Stone Ridge Mall Drive, and that the public needed more time to consider the economic impact. So, to avoid costly litigation, the council agreed Tuesday to rescind its approval, with Mayor Jerry Thorne recusing himself because of a potential conflict of interest since he has Costco stock. Once the air quality analysis is completed, it will be presented to the public for comment. Both the Planning Commission and the City Council will need to then re-approve the project, likely to occur in 2019 according to the City. The hotels also would require re-approval. No other projects will be considered within this development zone while the additional environmental review is being conducted. The proposed Costco would be 148,600 square feet, with a detached gas station. The battle for the Costco began two years ago when a citizen's referendum was put on the ballot in the November 2016 election. Pleasanton voters were asked if they wanted to prohibit retail, big box, stores of 50,000 square feet or more. But voters defeated the measure, saying they were fine with big box stores such as Costco. Then, after the council agreed to the environmental impact report last year, the Pleasanton Citizens for Responsible Growth tried to gather enough signatures for another referendum, but failed. It was less than a month later, in December, when the group took the city to court. 